Good morning and welcome to the Franklin Parker Preserve here in the heart of the New Jersey Pinelands. A one million acre expanse of forest which is one of the most unique and special places in the entire middle eastern portion of the uh, United States. Franklin Parker Preserve is uh, a tract of land of about I believe like 17,000 acres. It was once privately owned it's now open for hiking and uh, wildlife watching, and uh, it's a beautiful place. And uh, I filmed here about three years ago, another portion of the uh, preserve known as, that was the Yellow Trail. We're now on the Red Trail. It's a loop of about six miles. It's a mild winter day. This is a truly special place, and uh, this is gonna be a relaxing, very beautiful hike today. So thanks for joining me once again for some nature, adventure, and discovery. Let's hit that trail, guys. It's going to be awesome. So if you're like me and you're from Pennsylvania and you're used to the, the woods and forests of Pennsylvania, if you ever get the chance to hike in the New Jersey Pine Barrens, I strongly recommend you do it. It's an experience like uh, nothing else you can come across for hundreds of miles around, really. Uh, you have this unique forest of pitch pine and shortleaf pine and uh, various uh, lesser like oaks and uh, it's just such a unique landscape. And there's a lot of wetlands around here, uh, small rivers, uh, cranberry bogs, blueberry bogs, and it's just an awesome place to hike. Winter time is a great place to do it, great time to do it too, because this uh, region is notoriously bad in the summer for ticks and chiggers and insects and uh, other things like that. So winter in the pines here, it's a perfect time to get out and explore the region. So far the trail here, it, it twists and turns and, and weaves its way in between stands of uh, trees and then through wetland areas, but it's super well blazed and it's very clearly uh, defined. And as I probably said, it's, it's all level here in the pines. The highest elevation in the whole region, one million acre region, is 200 feet. 
a place called Apple Pie Hill. So it's flat, easy hiking. Just gotta stay out of the brush because like I said, it is known for having a lot of uh, insects, but oh man, this is great out here. So here we are on this observation deck. It's known as the AR DeMarco Cranberry Meadows Natural Area. And what we have here is a nearly 900 acre expanse of wetlands that at one point were part of the commercial cranberry growing operation here. Since the land has been reverted to a natural area, these uh, cranberry bogs have begun to be fill in with vegetation and you have a 360 degree view from this uh, elevated platform of the surrounding wetlands. And it's one of the most amazing, uh, beautiful views you could possibly imagine. This really is an aspect of New Jersey that is underappreciated and oftentimes unrecognized. Uh, the natural beauty of this state is very diverse and uh, criminally underrated. Uh, you know, most people when they think of New Jersey, they think of the big cities, they think of Camden and Trenton and Newark and, and northern New Jersey, but there are some remarkable natural areas here in the Garden State. As you can see guys, the uh, sky has uh, darkened a bit, so the weather was calling for partly cloudy conditions today. We are moving back into the, into the woods now, so ever-changing landscape, ever-changing skies, and uh, you know, the world is like a, it's like a living, moving, you know, it's like a work of art. It never, but always changing and always evolving. It's something I love about hiking and exploring, especially the first time you get on a trail you've never been on before. It's, it's constantly in changing and, and stimulating your mind. Uh, get out there, guys, no matter what. I woke up this morning. I was almost going to bag it. I got off to a late start, but get out there and explore that world. You won't regret it. So at the recommendation of some of the uh, uh, viewers of the channel, I have begun to use All Trails app more and more. Uh, it is a good navigational guide for 
you know letting you know where you're at as i said the trails here are excellently marked but there are a bunch of old sand roads and crisscrossing trails so it's nice to see you know where you're at how far you've gone how far you still need to go how much time etc Couple random chairs in the woods. I mean, why not, right? In this uh, section, a lot of the trees here are showing evidence of uh, fire or being burned. Fire, as I've said before in other videos, is a common aspect of life in the pines. It's essential to these trees to help them regenerate and prevent other invasive uh, species from grabbing hold in the area. But they often have what are called prescribed burns also in this region for uh, forest health. But definitely seeing a lot of blackening at the base of the trunks of many of these trees here. Such such beautiful trees, and uh, it's, it's just a, it's a unique forest. I mean, there's just like I said already, there's nothing else like it uh, around. This is more reminiscent of the type of forest you would see in the southeastern part of the United States, and. Uh, it's just really cool. You got to check it out. Even here, even in the dead of winter in February, uh, there's like so much to see. You know, imagine when every, all this ground cover in a month or two begins to green up and uh, it'll be really even more vibrant. And there'll be more wildlife. It'll be even, even more beautiful. trail is now taking us through a section of Atlantic cedar trees which is a I know it's a rare somewhat rare but very important uh, ecosystem here in the pines so this is a little bit of a another change of pace here as the trail has uh, narrowed through this this wetland area but uh, yeah we're gonna continue on and just uh, super cool scenery here guys thank you for joining me once again, I do appreciate you. All right, my friends, we're getting pretty close to uh, the car now. And uh, what can I say? The Red Trail, six mile loop, Franklin Parker Preserve. Awesome trail. Do it if you can do it. It's got a tremendous amount of diversity in the landscapes. 
and uh, super easy walking, well marked, and it has a lot of like extra touches like those those big random chairs out of nowhere and the suspension bridge and it, it touches on all these different landscapes and uh, how about that bald eagle that flew overhead that was awesome great time out here today very invigorating can't wait to check out the footage it did get a little dark in the second half of the hike hopefully I can work through that but uh yeah that's it guys so you know what I'm gonna say thank you once again for joining me for some nature, adventure, and discovery. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, let me know down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I've been very busy lately, but I will get back to you and I do appreciate you. Until next time, I'll see you on the trail. Gator out.